In Mesa Verde National Park, we got to try to step back into the lives of the ancient Puebloans at Longhouse Cliff Dwellings. This is our second full day in Mesa Verde National Park and we are going on a longhouse tour this morning. Super excited about getting to see the cliff dwellings up close and hearing a little bit more information from people who know more about it than I do. Longhouse Cliff Dwelling is located on Weatherill Mesa. It's on the western side of Mesa Verde National Park and can be reached by a 12 mile long road. We purchased our tickets for the Longhouse Tour online before we went to Mesa Verde National Park, but you can also purchase them at the Visitor and Research Center before driving to Weatherill Mesa. Longhouse is nearly equal in size to the Cliff Palace cliff dwellings. It has about 150 rooms, 21 kivas, and a row of upper storage room. Archaeologists think that this may have been home to 150 to 175 people. It was in the longhouse when we really appreciated having a ranger-led tour. Here, he talks about seep springs. Here's where all your water, I don't want to say all your water, some of your water is coming through the seep spring, which carved this alcove itself. Um, you know, so this is one of your primary sources of water. Another source of water is just collecting water off, you know, from a monsoon where the canyon varnish is. The cliff dwellings at Mesa Verde are some of them best preserved in the North American continent. During some time in the late 1190s, after primarily living on the Mesa top for 600 years, many of the ancestral Pueblo people began living in Pueblos they built beneath the overhanging cliffs. People lived in these cliff dwellings for about a century, and then by the 1270s, the population began migrating south. Longhouse has some architectural features that suggest that it was also a public place where people from all over Weatherwell Mesa gathered to trade or hold community events. The formal plaza in the center of the site is larger than most villages. This plaza, plus the large number of rooms and kivas in Longhouse, suggests that the community was a particularly significant place for the ancestral Pueblo people, perhaps even serving both civic and ceremonial functions. This is a picture of the inside of one of the kivas. Little white dots are from archaeologists taking digital chronology or trimming so. Getting to and from the Longhouse Trail is not an easy venture. Weatherill Mesa is made for bicyclists and hikers. There is a five mile Longhouse Loop which leads to various trailheads and overlooks. If you can't get reservations for a Longhouse Tour, Here's your look at it from across the canyon.
That's it for us from Mesa Verde National Park. Until next time, thanks for watching.